How can Aussies save during COVID-19? During this difficult period, now more than ever, it's important that Aussies make smart financial decisions. In today's video, we discuss four simple ways to save money during this ongoing coronavirus pandemic without having to sacrifice the little things we all need to keep ourselves sane while we practice social distancing. Let's jump in. Our first tip is to review all non-essential purchases. With social distancing being enforced and people being told to stay home, you should consider pausing or cancelling all gym memberships that can no longer be used. At the same time, you should seek refunds for tickets or holidays that can no longer go ahead. While food is an essential purchase, relying on expensive delivery services like Uber Eats is a surefire way to break the bank. Cooking is a much more financially efficient way to eat. If you're looking into different grocery delivery services, you should always remember to check the online coupon sites. Usually they'll offer our customers a 10 to $20 discount on their first purchase. Our second and probably biggest tip is to try lowering all loan repayments. Australia's cash rate has been cut five times in the last year and most lenders have passed on these changes, reducing their rates significantly since then. If you haven't reviewed your home loan in 18 months, you could significantly lower your repayments by refinancing. Both fixed and variable interest rates are at an unprecedented low in Australia, and most will sit in the mid 2% range. With all the RBA cuts from the last year combined, the average Australian borrower is set to save $2,436 in the next 12 months alone. That's a mortgage repayment reduction of $203 per month. If your home loan doesn't stack up against the latest rates, you should speak to your lender about putting you on the same rate they offer their new customers. If they won't budge, speak to a home loan expert like Lendy. The whole process can be completed online from the comfort and safety of your own home. In addition, if you have a car or a credit card, these debts can be consolidated into your home loan and pay back at a lower rate, saving you a significant amount of money. Our third tip, take control of your credit cards. Consider canceling any credit cards that are no longer in use or aren't used regularly. Many come with annual fees and high interest rates that usually kick in once the initial offer period is over. All of this can add up very quickly. You might also consider transferring any existing credit card debt onto a 0% balance transfer credit card to save on interest. A balance transfer can offer you a low or a 0% interest rate on any balance that's transferred for an introductory period. That's usually six to 18 months. If used as intended, this will allow you to pay off your existing credit card debt with no interest. Finally, if you have frequent flyer or similar reward points that you're not going to be using in the next few months or might be expiring, you should use them where possible on non-travel purchases like food or beverages. Check with your reward program to find out what is possible. Our fourth and final tip is to review all savings accounts. With the RBA cash rate drops, interest rates on savings accounts have fallen significantly since mid-2019, with most accounts barely offering 1% per annum. Despite the low interest rates, there are still savings to be made. And one of the most common ways to do this is by choosing a savings account that will offer a bonus interest to customers that meet certain requirements. For example, making a deposit over a certain amount each month or making a certain number of transactions. If you're thinking of switching, it's also worthwhile looking into introductory savings accounts, which have a much higher rate temporarily, and then they revert to a lower rate after a certain period of time. These accounts are great temporarily, but then you should consider switching after the introductory period ends. It's worth exploring all lender options, as there are some second tiered or online banks that are offering almost double than that of one of the big four banks. So there you have it four simple ways to save money during the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. If you're looking at how to decrease your loan repayments, check out lendy.com.au. Our online home loan platform compares over two and a half thousand products from 35 banks and lenders to find you your best rate. We also have a team of locally based home loan specialists that are on hand to chat through any questions that you might have. Now, if you're looking for more tips, you can join our Home Loan Hacks Australia Facebook group, where we answer anything, all things home loans. You can also check out our channel where we have other relevant videos like COVID-19, how homeowners are being impacted or how to negotiate a lower interest rate. We upload new videos each week, so don't forget to hit the bell to subscribe to be notified when we post. And finally, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. See you next time.